And welcome back to our live show. You know, sweet potatoes are delicious if you just roast them and eat them, but they're especially good when you put them in a pie or a cake, and we're doing cake today. Local baker Melissa Mose joins us here in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen with her take on the dessert. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Cheryl. I am very excited about this sweet potato cake mm -hmm. with a honey cinnamon cream cheese icing. I just think it is just, you know what, fall flavors, you have pumpkin, you have apple, sweet potatoes, hello. So in the mixer, I've kind of put everything in. It's just finishing mixing up. And then of course, with the magic of everything, we'll right. bake it up. We've got it baked. But <clears throat> and, and how many did you cook in three pans or? Right, so okay. I, most of my recipes are going to three eight inch rounds. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I bake a cake, I, right, help you sure, I cool them and then I wrap them in uh, cellophane to put them in the freezer because everything in the I freezer. always I always decorate cakes frozen mm -hmm. because then they're a little firmer they hold up you don't have any problems usually I have this really handy dandy thing but I forgot to pack it so we'll make it do <laughs> and I always cut the tops off of every cake so that you make can have level. that nice level top and then when you have a frozen cake you don't usually pick up any crumbs that's a good tip. Yes, and that is the key. The key. I do have crummy cakes, <laughs> <laughs> but they taste good, don't they? They taste good. <laughs> crumbs are always fine, and then they taste great. And then you just want to continue. And the key is chilling. So you never want to worry about um, about uh, worrying about uh, hurrying and doing anything because cake is cake. You can always mush it and whatever. It Do you always. have any secrets? Because I always run out of frosting for putting oh, layering. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. Here's what I do. I just make extra because I know <laughs> I'm going to run out. And then I always go like this. I think I can make it. I think I can make it. No, I don't ever no. make it. I never make it. And then when I really run out, I make a, a naked cake. Naked cake. Naked cake. It's the biggest thing now. So right so now, you would just this is that. a naked cake. Oh, okay. You that see? works. Mm -hmm. And then if when you start to ice it, and you have just the side showing through, mm -hmm. you get a semi-naked cake. Yeah, so usually, I will be very honest with you, I always have this nice handy DND little spatula. So we have an excuse for everything. We have an excuse for why this is going on this way because I'll be honest with you, I went to bed at three and I forgot to pack it. <laughs> but the key is, is when you are cut, uh, icing your cake, you do want to do a crumb coat. Mm -hmm. So you really want a very thin layer of icing like that. And then you want to put it in the freezer. But and when you, then we really go for and it. And then you really go for it. And then you can come and you can have a cake. Oh. And, and it comes with your name on it. And, and it comes with a happy birthday, Cheryl. So we have this Thank cake, so but sweet. we do have a little surprise. Thank you so much. You're your pumpkins welcome. are adorable. How do you yes. eat those? There's out of fondant. You can eat them all. Oh. She didn't run out of icing on that. Cereal. This one I did she not run. Didn't. I did happy not. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Happy, Yay. happy birthday. That is and beautiful. she's going to cut oh, the and she cuts right cake. into it because she knows we'd all be afraid <laughs> to do it. We would have it next it's week. It's too pretty to cut. And look at these cool wow. plates. They say, eat, drink, and be scary. Oh. <laughs> that that looks pumpkins. so delicious. Melissa, you said something, well, a lot of things super a interesting. <laughs> but, um, a friend of mine and I were just talking about this the other day. Freezing a cake no, does yes, seem to make it super yummier, yes. super moist, yes. and it's like way easier to ice. You always want to ice everything frozen. I freeze everything. Mm -hmm. And so because then you have a cake that is, um, I, it's yeah. not falling apart. You know when you've iced those cakes and they're mm -hmm. warm and every time you touch it, it starts to like mush and fall apart? Yes. Mm -hmm. Freeze everything. Freeze your cupcakes, freeze anything you want to decorate and you don't mm, have a problem. And oh, it holds in the moisture. What, what, Did you want a fork? I mean, oh, yes. Forks here. This, this is delicious. So really quick. This is um, a witch hat. It is all cake. It's carved into I cake. And I know you do all that. I, yes, I know. Well, I had to decide what to do very late last night. But this one I knew because I figured if your birthday is always on Halloween, you're tired of mm. orange. Yeah, and just imagine <laughs> if you, what you can do when you're not sleep deprived. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You would pack a little spatula. It's wonderful. You would. I love yes. the well, we'll get Melissa's recipe yes. and we'll pass Thank it along you. on WTVR.com slash VTM. Thanks for spending part of your Halloween with us. Have a Happy great day. Halloween. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh, I love the pop. This is good. This